why 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 ipl on tv for this okay uh, see ipl uh, is you know as a property uh, as uh, i just mentioned ipl is a very very strong property uh, it cuts across uh, all uh, age groups and demographics uh, not just this you know uh, if we look at ipl uh, because it is you know the it's a perfect mix of cricket and entertainment and cricket is a passion point for indians uh, so therefore uh, you know overall uh, ipl uh, forms you know an integral part a very important part of our uh, of our marketing strategy you know that's that's exactly the reason why you know time and time again we have invested in ipl because it does deliver results uh, as far as 2020 is concerned and ipl on tv is concerned uh, and you know i can just share some numbers with you the total tv viewership uh, in india uh, is around 800 million viewers yeah. uh, uh, 800 odd million viewers 830 odd million viewers mm. uh, out of these uh, around 400 uh, million viewers watched ipl on television so now we are talking about 50% of the universe of you know tv viewers in india uh, watched ipl on television Uh, not just this right if we look at uh, the total number of minutes uh, ipl was watched uh, it was close to 400 billion uh, minutes you know of ipl watching on television uh, the tvr rating uh, was you know at a very good number of 5.8 mm-hmm. right uh, over 2019 uh, the ipl 2020 had a 10% increase uh, in viewership right so all these uh, all these things uh, you know simply point to the fact that ipl on television uh, was and continues to remain a very strong uh, you know uh, investment opportunity as far as marketers uh, are concerned in terms of what kind of impact has uh, has associate as the association given you see uh, in terms of uh, product uh, metrics mm. uh, the fact that you know vivo today uh, is uh, is the leading brand uh, in the offline channel right Uh, we are also and this is both by volume and value uh, that vivo is the number one brand now as per gfk uh, in both volume and value in the whole smartphone industry in the offline segment right okay. number one second not just this even the 20000 to 30000 segment which is the most advertised advertised segment for us during ipl mm. uh, we have you know been amongst the leaders uh, even in that segment so the fact that you know we have uh, at an overall level we've got around 27% market share in the offline segment uh, our you know brand metrics have performed well our product sales have been good uh, so so these are the key numbers i can share with you now okay okay and um, nipun which one do you think is your more pressing objective which uh, you know you approach ipl from which point of view is it to you know for brand perception or for brand awareness Uh, we are operating in a market which is uh, which is quite dynamic uh, and uh, quite competitive mm. uh, so therefore at all points in time uh, it is important to keep your brand salient at a good level right mm. uh, and this is where ipl helps uh, so therefore uh, that's first part which is uh, awareness is it important yes uh, even when we have become the number one in offline segment even when we are the top 3 uh, in the whole smartphone market uh, mm. i still believe driving salience uh, is important right uh, the the second thing is uh, salience is one part and uh, today also if you see uh, vivo enjoys very good salience uh, so then then the other part comes on you know as you uh, use the word perception right uh, or you know brand imagery uh, or mm-hmm. the softer values of the brand uh, and those also become very important and uh, those are also what uh, are in our radar uh, whenever we are doing our communication Uh, with respect to ipl uh, so i think it is both uh, it is as much about driving brand awareness uh, mm-hmm. as it is also about building the softer aspects of the brand okay and you think ipl can help you with both i mean does it serve both the purposes yeah yes see the second part is more about uh, what you are communicating sure. right uh, and how you are communicating if the mm-hmm. what and the how uh, are delivering so which means your creative is delivering then ipl as a platform will deliver that for you 2020 was a good journey and now you've reinstated your uh, title sponsorship with IPL so what are the objectives that you are looking at from the coming edition what are the brand objectives that you want to meet okay uh, so see as i mentioned uh, it's not that suddenly our brand objectives uh, change too much from mm. uh, what uh, we've done in the past 
so it will continue to be around uh, building awareness mm. uh, salience uh, consideration and preference uh, around uh, you know, a couple of new product launches which we will be doing mm. uh, right uh, and uh, through uh, the creative uh, through the communication uh, also driving imagery and you know um, softer values for the brand